In today's video, I'm gonna go in depth about how to build artistically beautiful waterfalls. If you've never built one before, this video is going to be a good one for you to watch to make your first one a success. If you've been building waterfalls for a long time, I'm going to ask you to stop and rethink the way you build them. We've built water features for a long time and I've worked with some great people in the industry and I've learned a lot of things from them. So I'm going to try to pass on some of that knowledge and some things not to do and some things that you can do on every feature that you can repeat that's gonna repeatedly make your water features look good. So my goal for today is to teach you guys how not to build this and start building this. Common misconception I see when people build water features, you find a nice flat rock and that's like, oh, that's the spillway rock. That's where the water comes over, right? I mean, it's nice and flat, it'll make a waterfalls. And it's not so unusual to think that. That's exactly how I thought when I started building waterfalls. That's what makes sense. Like this, for instance. I mean, this is a really big one, but like you see a rock like this and this is what you want to start with. Cause like you can picture water coming over this and it makes a big ice spillway rock. The spillway rock is the last rock that I pick and it's usually the one that I put the least amount of thought into. Basically, anything works for it, usually. What do we start with? We start with the boulders that go on either side of the spillway rock. Typically, I'm gonna come over to my boulder pal and I'm gonna start looking at these rocks and looking for things that have character. This is kind of what I've picked out for this one. So these are the rocks that frame the spillways. And what I'm looking for is things like this. This is broken out here. I can have water spill here. This is a notch out. So I can have water spill here. And I look for anything like this has all kinds of stuff going on here. There's jagged edges on it. I'm gonna be able to have water wreck into here and spill over here. But those are the things that I look for when I'm pick picking framing boulders. Well, obviously they have to be the right size, if I'm building a 12 inch waterfall, I'm not gonna start with a rock like this. I pick boulders that are in the right size and then I just look for a character, things that I'm going to be able to make the water do funny stuff with. If you look on a rock like this, it could be that. There's a little indent there. It could be, you know, I can frame something up against that. If I set this one on end, it could be this. You know, that could be a spillway. Oftentimes, framing boulders don't have a spillway built into them, but in this case, it could be. It could be this, you know, there's a little piece right there. So that's what I'm looking for when I'm picking my framing boulders is just anything that has some character. If I set this one up on end, if I made that the top, you can see like these jagged edges. That's something I can work with. So that's the first thing I do. Find boulders that are about the proper size, and then I look for things that have some character to them. I'm working on a job site that has a water feature running that we built actually just last week and we're building another one at the same place. So I'm gonna go down there now and I'm gonna show you what those look like in action, those little bits of character that I'm talking about so that you can better envision while I'm building this one. So here's the finished product and the one that we had built earlier this week. This boulder and this boulder and this boulder were the framework, those were the first three that I picked out just like I showed you earlier. And even though I had picked these out, I knew that I wanted to put one here. I just didn't know which one yet. So when I saw this boulder, I was like, hey, this is cool. I saw this, that that's really cool. And we found this rock, it had this nice flat edge here. And I always want to try to create water that falls here and here, like different direction water, water falling different direction. <laughs> Different directions of water. <laughs> oh my goodness. Waterfall in two different directions, yeah. And so what we didn't have was all of this, like this didn't fit that tight. So we set these in here, over here. I didn't see a whole lot on this rock. You know, there's nothing really cool here, but I planned on just putting a spillway rock in there. It was about the right size and it was pretty. I knew it was gonna be front here. It had a lot of moss on it. And so that's why it was the right size. So that's why I picked that. So when I set this one, all I did was just let a gap there. We backfilled a little bit and we set this one and I did the same thing over here. This, even though I hadn't picked it out when I was building, we saw it's like, hey, water Water level is going to be about here. That's going to add a really cool effect to that. We set the spill rock 
which by the way, it's a chunk of rock. It's nothing special, it's not flat. Deej just went out there on the scrap pile and picked up a bunch of chunks and moved in here until he found something that fit in there. And he took a hammer and chisel and broke a little bit here and there until it would grind its way in there. Sandstone's really nice like that. Then he foamed this off. When we were building this thing, these three rocks were what we started with. The spillway rock could have been any of several. And he just wedged that in there. I don't like when uh, this pitches front. I prefer to have the rock surface completely level or leaning back a little bit so that this side is lower. It'll dam up and spill out over. You don't need to tilt your rock forward so the water spills over it. This is the same scenario. We moved it back here. This little spillway, which here again, it's just a it's, we'll, we'll show you when we build that one what we work with when we put them, when we piece them together, but it's nothing special. And we dammed it up back here so that water will spill here, here, and then rip around and spill that direction. All right, now let's plug it in and you can see what I'm talking about when it's running. Okay, now that it's running, you got to see it when it wasn't running and now that it is. And what, what that does, water spilling out the front here, water spilling into here, then water spilling over there. Then this one just does pretty much exactly what I said. We get a little bit of water coming over here. I love that falls. Water shooting this direction, water coming down that way. It's this little jut on this rock that causes that. And then this is just a real heavy thread of water. I'm not gonna get on this topic today. Maybe I'll have to shoot another video, but another thing that really helps when you wanna build a water feature that looks nice is to get a nice pooling area behind it rather than like water running down over a bunch of gravel. That's a conversation for another day. Now let's come over here. So after I picked them out, I set them in here and this is what it looks like at this point. I intend to work some stuff in here to get that foamed off, probably back here even, I don't know, maybe front here. This is gonna fall over here. Then there's gonna be a heavy thread of water in here. You can get that look by having it a little bit lower so that more water comes over. And I like how this wraps so so I'll have water kind of spilling in a horseshoe shape. Over here, I'll set a rock back here after a while and we'll frame it over here, put a spillway in here based off of this rock. But I'll use this, this character that I see here and then it's gonna spill into a pool here and come out here. Probably put a rock in there like that. It's gonna wreck into here, spill over there and spill out there. I'll likely put another rock here and have a little bit of a drop falling in this direction before falling over there. I just do that kind of stuff to create twists and turns. That way you don't have this waterfall, waterfall, waterfall on a straight line like you're climbing a stairs or something. I'll give you more info once we set those two rocks, once we're setting the spillway rocks and doing all the little foaming and detail work. Hopefully you'll be able to better understand what I'm saying when you see this all go together and you'll be able to create awesome looking waterfalls yourselves. What's up guys? I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on how we put in our spillway rocks. So, first things first, I'm over here at the rock pile. Being it's a uh, smaller stream with one five to nine pump, I know my spillways won't, won't really be that big. So what I'm gonna do is just go through and find rocks that I think would work great for a spillway. Like this one. Got a nice flat edge up top, isn't that wide? I'll grab it, throw it in my skid steer bucket. Or like this one here, looks like it could be used possibly. And here's another one. Not the prettiest one, but possibly could be used. Grab some small chunks just in case. So yeah, you get the idea. Just a uh, assortment of different sizes of rocks. Then I'll take them over to the waterfall and I'll show you what I do from there once I get over there. Alrighty, so we're coming down to the final steps of building a naturalistic looking waterfalls. And I had to snag Deej or he would have just finished this whole thing before I ever got to it. But this side is kind of done. He just takes like a hammer and chisel and he goes and gets a whole pile of this stuff, just a little broken off pieces. There's beauty in the brokenness. That was a good one, wasn't it Deej? And he looks for things like, see that, that would drop nice. 
or it depends what he's looking for. But I wanna look, if I wanna falls, I wanna look for vertical edges like that because when they're rounded like this one is, it's a little bit rounded, depends on your flow. That wouldn't break very nicely. The water would wanna wrap around there and it would never spill. He's always looking for things that are slanted back a little bit or have a vertical edge if that's the a real sharp, clean, break if he's looking for a nice sheet falls if you're looking for stuff that has a little bit more character to it then he's going to look for edges like that that have these jagged edges on it it's not going to give it quite a clean fall so this is he's done he broke a piece out in here that one's just kind of to fill in that space and then he uses waterfall foam to fill up the areas he will go along with like moss yet and fill that in stacked one in here set one on top this is going to give a nice break into this pool and then fall out over here. This one I'm a little bit nervous about because of how this slopes down. It can be tough to get a good break with your, I'd, I'd prefer my slope to go the opposite direction. Like on oh, this one, if you set a level on that, I, this rock is tilted back. So it pulls up and spills out over. I don't like to tilt these rocks front because it water will just run over the surface and it won't break as nice. So I'm a little concerned about that. I think it will break okay, but even we get confused sometimes. We're not exactly sure what they're gonna look like. But I do like that this is gonna kind of give like a horseshoe curve falls. And then over here, he's working on the last piece. He's gonna work a spillway in here high enough so that it kind of creates a pool back here. It'll fall into here. Then he'll work a little chunker into there to bring this up to the same height as that one. He'll put a spillway in over here. So he'll just take those chunks of sandstone, look for character that he likes, break them, grind them down in here until he has this one. So he's gonna switch over to his GoPro and you can watch him build it. If you have any wise words for him deeds while you're building, feel free to share it. You think, you think you're gonna have anything to say? Probably not, it's too early in the morning. Too early in the morning. Were you out playing hockey all night? No, last night. Oh, last night. You took a night off? Yeah. Wow. You didn't sleep, did you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> don't wanna do that. Okay, so we have all our spillways in place. We're almost done. It's the last little bit, the part that takes it from looking like this to looking like that. We go along with our knife, trim off the extra foam, put on a little bit of wet foam and tuck some moss in there in the cracks and that'll finish it all off. Put the gravel in the pockets. So Deej worked in a little light here. So yeah, we'll just go along, trim off the excess, pick it off, cut it off. And then we're just about ready to plug her in. The moss, we just cut, we just, most of it we're able to get on the job site normally. If a job site doesn't have it, I'll just go into the woods at my house or Deej will go into the woods at his house and we'll get some. This has all kinds of woods down in there. So we just took a five gallon bucket, went for a walk and found herself some. Looks like this. Some of this will grow, some of it will die. Even the dead stuff looks better than black foam. Well, here's one that's completely finished. This is a pretty complex one. Like we have spillways going here and here and this competition involves one, two, three, four, five framing boulders. So that can be a little more difficult. For your first one, if you want to try something a little more simple that also looks nice, just do framing boulder, framing boulder, spillway rock. This guy wanted one nice big tall sheet falls, just a curtain of water coming over. So that's what we build here. That's also, ve that's very simple to do and it looks good. Here again, he just found a rock that had a nice edge, set it up on end, wedged it in between here and you're good to go. All of this can be, these are pretty, pretty big boulders. All of these styles of building can be mimicked on a much, much smaller scale. I've built tiny, tiny water features in my house in a bowl where you work with rocks this size. You know, this can be a framing boulder. There we go. A Little bit of character right in there, put a spillway right there. So it doesn't matter how big or how small your feature is, these things can be replicated on many different skills. I'm excited to see this thing run. As soon as DJ has that little bit uh, foamed up and mossed up and we have water in the basin, we'll plug it in. All right, big moment, we're plugging it in. Plus, 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 plus. Well, we got water coming in here, that's a good sign. 
Might have to do some trimmage on the rock, but so far that looks pretty good. There, that ought to be a dramatic enough drop. A little bit of trimming in there so it breaks a little fuller. Right there, it's a little messed up. Looks good. Well, folks, it's a wrap. Thanks for following along on this build. Let me know what you think. If there's any questions that you have, anything we didn't cover or weren't clear on, reach out in the comments and I will try to answer your questions best I can. If you're enjoying this kind of content, subscribe to the channel and we put lots of different stuff out. If you have something that you would like to see us cover, put it in the comments and maybe DJ and I will shoot a video on it. See you in the next one.